While I was ordering these uh, various car ozone generators, I also ordered alongside them to try and identify which suppliers they came from, just random products in the same site. So for instance, uh, this light I think came from Wu Wall, uh, and here's the Wu Wall ozone generator, which is a, a fake, and this from from It's Hot Sale 77, it's a fake. Uh, not sure who this one was from. Um, and this one from 48 Express, 48 Express dash UK, is real. So that's quite interesting to know. Um, and does generate ozone. Um, they're not actually based in the UK. But anyway, that's all beside the point. What really matters here is this is one of the things that came with uh, one of those orders. And it's a 12 volt, and I'll just turn it on. There were 12 volt, ooh, bright, uh, little headlight for vehicles. And it's rated about 3 watts, as so many of these Chinese lights are. And its actual output is 2 watts, as so many of these Chinese lights are. And I thought, well, it's 12 volt, it's interesting. Let's see what the circuitry is like. Is it just a resistor? So if you turn the voltage up, it does regulate down the current. Um, and if you turn the voltage down, when you get down to about... Oh yeah, see it? Oh, that's quite odd, flickering. Yeah, that's quite interesting. When you get down to that level, it starts cutting out, and then it... Uh, I can't see that flicker that you guys are seeing on the camera. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Oh, that's, that's a very interesting effect. But yeah, as the voltage drops down exactly at uh, 8.7 volts, yeah, a tenth of a volt difference, it suddenly just dies. So that's quite interesting. And as the voltage gets turned up, that's me just approaching 12 volts again. Yeah. So that the noise actually appears on the camera at 11.6 volts, and anything above that, it just dis disappears completely. So that's quite interesting. So let's um, open it up and see what's inside. So as with a lot of these, the end on the screws. Well, that came out easier than expected. Feels like a plastic lens. Yeah, plastic. The LED is not pressed in by the lens, the reflector arrangement, it's just um, in there with um, a sort of like silicon glue, which is quite rubbery. And there are three screws that hold the casing on, so let's uh, remove those screws. I'm guessing it's probably going to be a typical sort of a... Uh, 12 volt MR16 type um, electronic driver. Just a little choke and a chip, maybe. Not 100% sure, actually. Here we are. Well, there's a little chip in it um, and a capacitor. Oh. And this choke and a drive transistor, I'm guessing. Yeah, that transistor seems to be driving the choke. What is the chip called, I wonder? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to reach into that. I'll try using the phone and see if I can read the number off that chip. Not that I'm all that interested. I've no real... I prefer the mains voltage type stuff. Uh, camera. So let's uh, see if I can just zoom in and take a picture. Oh, is it even going to focus for some reason? No, because I've steamed up the camera, that's why. So let's see if I can just focus on that chip. Take a picture. And then zoom in. LN251 2SR? I'm not actually sure. LN251 
LN25. Yeah, it looks like LN25, but that's, I'm not sure what that squiggle is. Hmm, I'm not 100% sure. Unless it's just some random, typical random Chinese chip. But yeah, just really what you'd expect. It's not really anything terribly exciting inside. It's got the little capacitor there. It's got the chip, the drive transistor and the the choke to limit the current. Yeah, and the LED physically glued in. Doesn't feel a terribly nice bit of equipment. It just feels a bit crappy. But then what do you expect for the money, really? So, yeah, interesting enough. I think they claimed it was waterproof. It's really, really not waterproof at all in it any way. But, um, yeah, just uh, just a Chinese novelty, really. Nothing really, nothing too special.